Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these button groups right here using HTML and of course CSS. Okay, so this right here is going to be the finished product. As we can see, we've got three examples of the button groups. We've got a pagination right up top. We've got a, you know, month picker or something like that. We've also got a back and forward button. So you can change the amount of buttons inside your group. You can change the text or background color and it's really really easy to create something like this. So uh, the source code is going to be linked down below if you'd like to download it and follow along while you watch today's video. Okay, so going inside this tab right here, let's begin from scratch to create what I just showed you. So going inside the text editor, I've got this index HTML. I've also included my own or it's not my font, but I've included a custom font called Inter and that is done using Google fonts. I've got a whole video dedicated to including fonts using Google fonts. It's all free and open source. So if you want to check that one out, you may also do so. So moving on to the main contents of today's video, of course, the button groups. Uh, we're going to begin inside the HTML. So within the body tag, let's make a new div called or a new div with a class of button dash group. So now inside this div, we're going to specify each one of the buttons inside your group. Um, I'm going to stick with the pagination example, one, two, three, four, five. So let's make a new button right inside here with a type of button and then also a class of button. So you can change the type here to be submit. That's perfectly fine. But in my case, these are all going to be uh, buttons. Okay. Now we can just say one like this. Then of course, duplicate down four more times for the two, three, four and five. And that is the pagination example. All right. So now that is all for the HTML. Okay. We can now move on to, of course, styling up the CSS. So I'll just save this right here, go in the browser, and we currently have something like this. As we can see, it's pretty expected, uh, the result right there. So going inside these style tags, let's firstly, uh, let's just uh, let's just target the class of button dash group. So for the button group class, we're going to be adding here a display of inline dash flex. This right here is going to allow each button to be side by side, uh, you know, in like columns. All right. We can then target the class of button and for this right here, you know what, I'm actually going to stop right here. I'm going to go back in the browser and just preview our changes. So we can see here by adding that display of flex, it's also going to remove the space between every single button. Okay, so that is what that display of inline flex is doing right there. We can now move on to styling up the class of button itself. So for these ones here, uh, we're going to be adding some padding and we'll just say uh, 10 px for top and bottom, then 16 px for the left and right. So typically I like to keep my top and bottom padding smaller than my left and right padding. We can say an outline of none as well as a border of none just to remove those default outline and border on the buttons. Alongside this, we can add a cursor of pointer. And if I save this and go back in the browser, we're going to get something like this. As we can see, uh, you know, fairly plain looking buttons so far. We can now move on to adding a border dash right property to be 1px, then solid. Then we're going to use, uh, we're going to use a medium gray right there, uh, triple C. So now if I save this right here, go back in the browser, we're going to get that gray border between every single button right there. Now, the problem is the last button has a, um, you know, has a, has a border. So to remove that border on the last button, we can simply target the class of button, then just say last dash child. And then we can say border right none to effectively remove the border right on the last child, uh, basically the last button right down here. Okay. Save this back in the browser and that is going that is going to uh, be gone. All right. So we can now move on to styling up or continue styling up the button by adding a background of something like uh, D, 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 that's six D's right there. Um, you know what? Actually, we're going to make this triple E. So a much lighter gray. OK, we're going to use uh, I believe we're going to uh, we're going to use the um, the D's for uh, for the hover effect. OK, so we can add a background color right there and we can say a font family here of I'm going to use my inter font and then sans serif as the backup. I can save this right here and go back in the browser and we have something like this. 
Okay, so looking looking not too bad so far, but we can move on um, by going up inside the button group and we're gonna be applying that same border. That way, the border's gonna run around the entire button group. So we'll just say border, then just say 1px solid and then say triple C. Remember, use the same color and the same width and the same style as you did for the border right, right down here. Now, alongside this, let's add a border dash radius of 4px for curved or rounded borders, as well as an overflow of hidden to contain that, um, you know, uh, those uh, curved borders. I can save this, go back in the browser and we get something like this. Okay, so the final step now is going to be to apply a simple hover effect when hovering over um, those buttons. So dropping down here, we can add a class of button, colon hover, and make this something like a background um, of something like the background, then say D, 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 D. There we go. So now we have essentially a gray between our lightest gray and our uh, medium gray. I can save this, go back in the browser, and then we can hover over and we can see we have that effect right there. So of course, you can go inside the CSS, you can, you can change these colors to be whatever you like, and of course, customize it to your own design. So that is how to create icon, or no, not icon, uh, button groups right there using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.